driving cars, I'm making YouTube videos since for as long as I can remember. When I was 13, I started making YouTube videos, uh, and then I started driving go-karts probably around the 12, 13, from then driven cup cars, but throughout the whole journey, always been filming it and putting it online, because these cars are so special, you have to share all the different cars and also the evolution, and this is obviously the next step of that, because I think this is the next big step we're gonna see with race cars, so I'm very excited. I'm stood here next to these, and I still can't believe it, which is why I just want to have a go, see it for myself, because I think it's going to be ridiculous. And it's one of those things that is here, it's not the future, it's present now, and we need to show it to the world. experience. I mean, I spent three and a half hours in the car, so I feel like I know it really well now. Um, but it got really hot and I was sort of thinking, what's this going to be like, you know? And then once I got going, it all of a sudden, oh, it? hello, it was fantastic. Yeah? It was incredible. Oh, yeah, good. yeah, thank good. you so much. You enjoyed it. it was great. And, uh, and with the crowds around the F1 cars, yeah. it was just one of those experiences I'll never forget. And the car is just incredible. Yeah. Yeah, I, was, I felt like I was going for it, but never even getting close to what the car could do. Right, yeah. I could you feel, so. feel the potential. Feel the potential for sure. Brilliant. So it was Did awesome. A good job. Thanks, mate. Thank you so much. So the cool thing is that was a practice run, not just for me, I feel, for the car as well, to get to know the track a little bit better. And then next run, hopefully, fingers crossed, everything goes well, it's gonna be doing it by itself. And I'm sure we'll do a much better job than with me at the wheel. I felt like I gave it my all, but just from being around it for now three and a half hours, right? We've bonded. I know that I can do a better job. So we'll see what happens. I think we're gonna surprise everyone, surprise the crowds, and they're probably as excited as I am, see what we'll do without, uh, without a driver. My, my interest in cars and racing came from my grandfather. And then my, my mother, you know, his, his daughter, then it all came from that side of the family. Uh, and that's why this is gonna be such a special experience for me. But it was just, he had an old Morgan, and I remember seeing him pull up once. It's one of my first memories in this old Morgan. I think that's cool. I wanna, you know, I wanna pull up like that one day. Being able to drive up the hill will be really cool. And then hopefully being able to see it drive itself up the hill later on will be sort of the cherry on the cake. Robo Race is on the grid. We're seeing a DevBot 2.0 with a human driver in. It's Seb Delaney in the car. He's a YouTuber, very popular. Uh, he will be getting out at the house. He'll be giving DevBot a little tap on the head and DevBot will be then finishing the run all the way up to the top of the hill. Who, so on it, so. who, tells, who tells DevBot when to go then? Does the pat on the head do it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> no, we've got some engineers uh, sat further away from the car and they'll let it know when to go. Once it's all clear, once Seb is clear of the, of the uh, track and everything's safe. Okay, so Seb about to climb out of the car then. He's parked it up in front of the house because we saw the, the first run up for Robo Race last year, didn't we? Yeah, that's absolutely right. So we were here last year with our Robo car. So this year we thought we'd do something a bit different. We brought DevBot because that's our hero car for Season Alpha, our first season of competition. Lost my car, it's gone. I have no idea where it's gone. Look at it, there it is. There it is. Oh, look at that. That was incredible. I mean, I, I got into the car, I knew exactly what I was going to do, what the mission of, of this was. And uh, I still didn't know if it was gonna happen or not until I really saw it happening. As I was in at the start line, I knew, okay, I've got to drive it halfway. It's gonna go by itself for the rest. But until I actually saw it leave, I wasn't sure and I didn't necessarily even want to believe that it was possible. And then I got out, there was like a weird silence of everyone, including myself, thinking, okay, what's going on here? And then all of a sudden the car left. So we gave it a little wave and then seeing it on the screens after, thinking I was in that car like 20 seconds ago, was ridiculous. So really, really cool experience. I'm honored to have been a part of it and I'm excited for the future of this company.